So. Surprise! There's three of us. For those of you boys and girls that don't know, I am a triplet. I am here with my lovely brother and sister today. We are all turning 28 this year. Yay! Since you guys know so much about me, I'm going to let them do at least some of the talking today. And uh, as you guys may know, right, he's going to say some crap about how I didn't shave today. I'm just, I was trying to do Frank a favor and like not try to take too much of the spotlight from him. No, right. but listen, listen. If you guys can support FrankieStreamRangerMeat.com, maybe I will be able to afford to buy my brother a razor this year. So guys, please pre-order your high quality nutrient dense animal food products at Frankie's Free Range Meat. It's delicious. Uh, this is actually the order we were born in. So I'm going to let, as much as I'd like to let the ladies go first. Hi. This makes more oh, sense. Polite. I am a delicate flower, so I appreciate it. Hello, boys and girls. My name's Dante. This girl's brother, this guy's brother. Right smack dab in the middle by about 10 seconds. I work out in California. I do aeronautical engineering. I'm trying not to say, uh, I know you guys don't like that. And, uh, yeah, I've been out there about two years now. Got an ocean view. So I'm only moderately depressed any given day. I get a little bit of vitamin D being out there and it's nice not to have to shovel snow, but yeah, been out, like I said, been out there about two years. I do magic space science. It's all fun. No one really cares about it. I stare at a screen all day, but, uh, it's a lot more glamorous on paper. It's a uh, boost. It's a good look on my Tinder profile when I tell them I do rocket science, but then when I tell them I just stare at a screen all day, they, they don't like that so much. But uh, yeah, LA's uh, great because uh, the people are terrible. Uh, people are really shallow. They all, uh, they're all trying to be uh, Instagram influencers and they don't make their own meat though. So this guy's got one up on them. So you want to get yourself a nice influencer who makes their own meat, good meat. <laughs> That's what you His want. His meat is delicious. We have a lovely sausage girl here. I am a lovely hot dog boy. We both love our cylindrical meat. I don't know uh, what that means. Well, why don't you tell them how hard you worked to, to be where you are in, in the academic. Oh context. man, yeah. So no, I, I joke about having depression because uh, you, you sort of have to, because I don't know anyone who finished grad school without at least debilitating their mental health a little bit. Um, you so I went to yeah study physics in undergrad for uh, three and a half years. I graduated a semester early to sa save myself for money, which is a bad idea because the real world is a scary, dangerous place. So you want to stay in college for as long as you can, so you don't have to deal with it. So yeah, studied in undergrad three and a half years. Took a little break in between, and yeah, then went off to grad school upstate New York, which was a terrible decision for another three years. So you know I hadn't didn't have enough of like the nuclear winter style full ride to uh, there. full ride to what was the name of school full ride to RPI. Uh, I try to say some nice things about RPI, but I don't recommend this. Isn't really it's sort of it's it's in the city of Troy, which is probably the worst city in New York. Uh, it's it's between that and the Bronx. Uh, like although all the Troy is where all the gang activity from the Bronx has migrated because the Bronx is too expensive for most of the gang bangers there. So I mean, still, hey, <laughs> at the end of the day, if you want to get shot in front of a precinct, you got two options now: <laughs> so, Bronx or Troy. Bronx or Troy. So all you kids out there, hey, if you want the rent's cheap, rent's cheap. So you know, yeah, that's that's what you're about. But anyway, went there. So spent three years there. Uh, get my PhD. Finish it quickly because uh, my advisor. Uh, let me, I'm going to put it delicately. She got fired. <laughs> and so I had to wrap things up or else they were, they were saying, you can start over if you want, but no one wants to start over after three years of writing magical math, space, science notes. So anyway, seven years of school and, uh, I'm not, I'm not bitter about it. It's just, you know, the Frank takes home about as much money than me as me at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. How many days, how much school did you do? Finish, Frank? Went to uh, Hard Knock School of Bartending <laughs> in New York City and uh, had to bullshit your way into a bunch of jobs. So anyway, if I knew that I could make that much uh, and skip seven years of school studying magic space science, I might I might have just started making videos about me. So here we are. And of course, my lovely young sister, Gina, who's been in her own little world for the past Hi. few months. Gina, why don't you tell them uh, what you like doing? You want to tell them what you've been doing lately? Uh, well, lately I've been working at, uh, I work in retail at... You don't have to tell them where. You can just tell me you work in retail. I work in retail. We don't, um, need, we don't need you creeps finding out where she where she's at now. Uh, I have two wonderful brothers. We, my, we only talk about you, not us. My, uh, not to flatter as us. As you know, I'm a triplet. I have two brothers. What's been annoying you lately? What's been on your brain? 
Chino, why don't you tell them a little bit about how much weight you lost? I lost 45 pounds. I feel great. Um, I ate lots of meat, proteins, eggs. Meat. Meat, cheese. Meat. Way too much cheese. Don't forget meat. And meat. <laughs> I'm going to practically freaking turn into a sausage. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who don't know, my sister has been following a uh, carnivore meat-based diet for about a year and a half, two years now. and I thought it was three. Maybe a little less than that. It, it seems like a It feels like a thing. <laughs> I mean, you've probably eaten enough meat to last 10 years. Uh, but it's been working. She feels good. She looks a lot healthier. She's much more energetic, uh, much more bothersome, uh, so to say. I will kill you for that later. Gina, did you, 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 I mean, you guys have always asked me a lot about, you know, my sister's weight loss and me doing a video with my sister. And we might do one on that separately in the future. But Gina, you, you're always watching my YouTube videos. Did you have anything you wanted to say to my audience? Yes. I Yes, I know he's a freak. I live with that daily. I come to peace with it. I, first of all, if he gave me raw meat right now, I'd probably slap him in the face with it. All right. Everyone, you know, you can judge a man as much as you want. You know, you'd be lying if you said you didn't wake up every, every morning and go, man, like, go for a couple goat eyeballs, you know, a little bit of brain, you know, really get you revved up. You are what you eat, you know? So Frank's an eyeball. Does he eat those weird... Uh, what the heck is it called? Animal testicles. Balls. Well, just, is that allowed to say that on the camera? I think you can say testicles. Can you say balls? Balls. <laughs> as long as you, there's, there's, a bunch of, there's a bunch of words that we're not allowed to say. I don't think those two were them yet. Gina, did you want to let them know anything else? Uh, sure. Um, I'm actually... A, I'm into a reading lots of books, YouTube videos. I like to stalk my brother on YouTube. <laughs> and lately I've actually been using my mom's Facebook to troll my brother Frank and Dante to see what they're up to. It's a very dangerous game. Because they don't tell me what they're doing, so maybe you could help convince them. Gina, you, you're, you're really good with the books. What is there any recent book you read? Uh, what did you read today or yesterday? Didn't anything? you get that book on... Uh... Ancient Egypt. Yeah. I'm right. into ancient Egyptian stuff, so maybe, hopefully, me and my brother could do an ancient Egyptian video. You're very meticulous, right? She had our dad... Uh recovering the whole book just so it lasts <laughs> i'm obsessed i admit everyone has their quirks my brother is dante his quirk is being too smart for his own good that's not the one i would have picked being I'll smart it, my brother's quirk is being uh, how should i put it unusual so we can see uh which brother she has the warmer feelings towards when <laughs> my quirk is being being too smart so as you guys know, Frank is uh, very, very, uh, very strict in his carnivore diet. Um, he pretty much, what is it? It's animal fat, red meat. That's it. That's it's it. Fat, no, no fat you meat. do butter. You do cheese. Can't. No do bad experiments. <laughs> bad experiments. You, well, because you're actually allergic to eggs and stuff, right? Yeah. So unlike Frank, my my metabolic system doesn't hate me, so I can pretty much eat whatever I want. Uh, I don't I don't do uh, carnivore or anything super strict, but I do. Uh, I did train powerlifting for a few years. I'm pretty casual about it now, uh, but I pretty much just try to make sure I keep my protein high. It's so you know, like like anyone who has half a brain will tell you, high protein, high fat, low carb, and you won't look like a giant you know sack of potatoes. You'll do all right. So I don't I don't keep it as strict as he does. I don't keep my you know eat my meat raw. I don't uh, make sure that everything's super organic or super fancy schmancy because uh, I'm I'm a bit of a uh, smells like. It's cow shit. It smells like actual, actual. Uh, I mean, I'm sure. Manure. I'm sure they're. First of all, they probably want to know like what your powerlifting total was. And what's really interesting about this whole story is, oh, he literally, he literally started oh. weightlifting when I stopped. Yeah. Pretty much, and that was like what five, six years ago now. Yeah. So it's actually kind of funny because I remember we used to go on on vacations and Frank would go with my dad. They would go hit the gym, and I'd be like, "That's so freaking dumb. Why would you want to lift weights?" And then, uh, and I weighed about 110 pounds. I ran cross country at the time and my diet was pretty much, it's funny when I look back and realize that I'm amazed I'm still alive, that I'm not like four foot three or something with what our diet was growing up. I think like my standard diet in a day, and this is a kid like on the track and field team running cross country, uh, was I would have, I think, bowl of Captain Crunch for breakfast, no milk, didn't like milk at the time. All right. I don't think I'd ever drank milk in my like like conscious hour years of my life i think as soon as i hit three years old i was like i don't think i like milk and my parents were like all right that's a fair thing to let a three-year-old decide about themselves so we won't make him drink milk or anything 
So I think my standard day, breakfast, Cap'n Crunch, dry. So the roof of my mouth would be bleeding the rest of the day. Uh, I'd have an applesauce at around 10 o'clock. I'd have on Wonder Bread, cream cheese and jelly sandwich. You get all three basic food groups, cream cheese, jelly, white bread, beautiful. I'd have a cream cheese and jelly sandwich after an applesauce, after a bowl of Cap'n Crunch. And then I think that'd pretty much be it. I think sometimes I would get a cafeteria lunch and that'd be something like pizza. But pizza has cheese, so, you know, protein. So it's a, And it's a vegetable now, I hear. So yeah, we yeah. we had a pretty. I think all of us had a terrible. I don't have a. I don't have a good memory. I literally, I don't literally don't remember what I used to eat as a kid. But apparently yeah. he does. So what were your powerlifting total numbers as a natural? Okay, so so skip forward uh, five years. Uh, I think my numbers are pretty close to what they were at their highest. I haven't been training as seriously lately, but I have dropped a lot of weight. So my my strength to weight ratio is probably a little bit better now actually. But uh, when I was last competing, I think at my meet. I weighed I weigh about 170 175 right now. Uh, I'm I'm a shorty, 5'5", five five, so if you're short, you want to power lift, way easier. I have friends who are 6'3", they weigh like 50 pounds on me who don't lift as much. But uh, you, so you, you big nose <laughs> ogre looking dudes who think you're tall, you hot shit. <laughs> no. Uh man, anyway, I don't I don't know if being a short guy is worse than being a fat girl. We'll we'll, we'll see who's meaner on the internet about it. But uh Anyway, so 5'5", five, five, about one, uh, 185 my last time of competition. Uh, bench was 315. Squat was, I believe, 425. Deadlift was the PR, five. I want to say 550 or 560. Mm-hmm. So total was sitting around, uh, I think my, to- my highest total was 1250 uh, mm-hmm. between all my best lifts. Uh-huh. So that's at 170, 175, totally natural. Uh, I don't even take creatine or uh, mm-hmm. whey protein these days. Uh, I, I just like I like to eat. So mm-hmm. if I can get my protein from my food, I will. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't have the greatest skin. Uh, that's genetics. So what can you do? So I, the whey protein exacerbated that a little bit. Uh, not enough that, that that would be my make or break uh, for taking it or not. But I figure if I have a choice between going home and cooking myself some chicken or something and having like half a gallon of really chalky chocolate weird oh we get we get it the point is boys and girls i am not the only person with the italian stonemason genetics uh that that being said uh thank you guys for joining me today uh if you guys would like to support the channel uh just check out some of the videos i'm going to link at the end here and of course please like subscribe hit that bell icon it's right next to the subscribe button share the video if you can uh jean you want to say bye to everyone Bye everybody! Bye guys! Like my brother's video, subscribe!